Howdy. Hello. So this is Sarah Hanna, and so her experience with the guitar, she's played guitar in a couple of classes back in high school, so she already has like a knowledge of like how to hold the guitar and generally how to play, and she also just completed uh, Music 101 as like an art elective, which was, and I kind of helped her with some of that, so that was like actually a pretty intense theory course, so her theory knowledge is, is really good as well. So uh, the two topics we're going to do today are talking about how to hold the pick, and uh, then we're going to talk about how to play our first scale on the guitar, because I don't think you know how to play any scales. She also knows some uh, basic open chord shapes. So starting with holding the pick, and we've already tuned up and everything. So I want you to hold the tip of the pick in your left hand out in front of you like I'm doing. Good. Now, with your right thumb, set it uh, parallel or perpendicular to the pick, rather, and line up the end of the tip of your thumb with the end of the pick. So your thumb shouldn't be hanging over like that, and it shouldn't be back here. They should both just be lined up at the end. Good. Now, with your index finger is the other finger that you're going to hold the pick with, but important thing to note, you don't want to hold the pick with the what I call the face of your index finger like that. The reason being that... Uh, when you do this, it's hard to get close to the guitar without like bringing your finger up like this in a really awkward way, and it might make your wrist kind of like jut out from the guitar, and that would cause not only problems just being able to play things, but also like physical pain when you're playing. So we're not going to use the face of our finger, we're going to use the side of our finger we're holding it. So our thumb is lined up, perpendicular, lined up against the edge, and we're going to take the side of our index finger and grab onto it like that. Okay. So, and for now you can just make like an okay kind of symbol so I can see what you're doing with your fingers. So can I see that? Cool. That looks perfect. Okay. Yeah. So as far as what you're going to do with the rest of your hand, whether you like keep this okay shape or whether you close it, a lot of that has to do with personal preference. There's not really a right or wrong way. I tend to have mine more open because sometimes I anchor my hand on my pick guard, which is this thing right here. And sometimes I do what's called hybrid picking where I pick a low note and I pick other higher ones. So there's not really a... Other people, though, play with a closed hand all the time because they think it's more stable, so it's not really like a right or wrong way, so either of those will work. So, now that we've kind of got our like step process, hold out the pick in the left hand, line it up with the thumb, grab it with the side of the index finger, yep. we kind of have the basic way that we're going to hold the pick. So now I need to talk about <laughs> using the pick and strumming with the pick. So, why don't you start out by grabbing like a, a G major chord? Okay. Good. One thing I just want to fix with that G major chord is your ring finger. I want your ring finger to be on the high string, oh, okay. the G string, the G note on the high string. Good. Good. So in the beginning, yeah, we're going to just drag. That's a good uh, kind of way that I like to think about is dragging. So we're going to drag our pick down across all the strings. Good. Now we're going to drag our pick up. So if you notice, when I said drag your pick up, when you were coming up, you tilted the tip of your pick away from you like that. Uh, another way that I used to explain this was like, uh, have you ever seen Karate Kid, like the old Karate Kid? Mm -hmm. You know, when he's like, paint, oh, paint okay. the shed to like yeah. teach him how to like block punches. So when you, when you're painting the shed, when you come up, it's like that. When you come down, it's like that. And that's kind of the same motion with the pick, although like slightly exaggerated. It's a pretty subtle motion, but when you're coming down, the tip of the pick is facing a little bit more towards you. When you're coming up, the tip of the, fist is kind of, the, tip of the pick is facing away from you. Good. So why don't you just practice a down stroke, up stroke, down stroke, up stroke. Good. On the up strokes, just make sure you're hitting like, all of the strings. Okay. Good. Now let's try doing it more, uh, less arpeggiated, where we're playing the notes all at, uh, one by one, and let's try to do it more as like a full chord, where it's just ba. So. Okay. Good. So try it again at this okay. time. Try to follow through. Almost imagine that there's like a string at the end like a seventh string, and you're trying to hit that, and just okay. go straight through. Good, now try coming up. Good, same thing. Good. Let me check the time and see how we're doing right now, because I can't see. Uh, okay, looks pretty good. Four minutes? Yeah, five, yeah, four and a half minutes. Okay. Great. So, another thing we're going to talk about is uh, other techniques that we can do with the pick. So, Let's talk about uh, picking individual notes. So, when we're picking our individual notes, we don't want to do this. I have a student uh, of mine who tries to do that all the time. Every time he plays, he never picks his pick up. He always just kind of rests on the opposite string. And that is actually kind of a technique on guitar. It's like an advanced technique. Uh, 
it's called like a rush stroke. But we don't want to be doing that as like a habit when we're starting out. It's good to be able to develop like proper pick technique in the first place. And that's kind of like a thing you can do later on. So I want you to practice with me. Uh, and you can just play the low E string, the sixth okay. string. And I just want you to go like that. I think of it as like, like a bird swooping down to catch its prey. It's like, you know, and then it comes up. It like gets the the turtle or the mouse or whatever, and then it comes back up. So it's kind of like that motion, you know? You're not just going straight through. There's a little bit of an uptake at the end. Good. So now we're going to practice the other strokes. So we had down strokes right there. Now, it would be really hard to play if we tried to play like everything is like a down stroke all of the time. So we're going to do up strokes as well. So I want you to practice this. Get your pick on the other side of the E string and come up like that. Good. So now I'll show you to see if we can alternate. Down, up, down, up. Good, yeah, everything looks pretty solid. So, now that we've kind of gotten like the beginning of our basic te pick technique, oh, and by the way, that thing where you're uh, picking down and picking up, it's called alternate picking. So, good, which kind of makes sense because you know you're alternating between picking down and picking up. So, next thing we're gonna learn is a C major scale on guitar. So do you remember what a C major scale is as far as like the construct of the notes? Um, it starts on C major. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it starts on C. Yeah. And what does it end on? Um, C. Good. And so what are the notes in the middle? Um, it would be like, if you go a whole mm -hmm. step yeah. up, so it'd be just like a D. Mm -hmm. And then E. C. Good. So, first thing I want you to do is you, you know how to play a C major chord, right? This? Yep. Good. And so, the C major chord, when you already know how to play that, playing the C major scale is fairly easy because you're able to kind of see the scale within this. So, okay. the low C that we're actually playing and starting on is where your ring finger is right now on the third fret of the A string. Good. And the high C that we're playing is this first fret on the second string. Good. So these are our two C's, so everything that we're playing is going to be trying to get us from our low C to our high C. So, uh, the next open string on the guitar, just a reminder, is the D string. So, where are we going to play our D after the C? Just the next open string, the fourth string. So the first note we're playing, third fret on the A string, then open D string. Good. Now, remember it's a whole step up to E, from because it's whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half. So. After D, we have a whole step up to E. Where do you think E is going to be? The next one. Not a bad way of thinking about it, but remember this, that uh, in between, so every fret is a half step. Oh. And so you can think of open as like an imaginary fret down there. So imagine that we're going from here two half steps up. So D right here? Yep, on the second fret of the D string. Good, so we have C, D, E. Good, and then a half step, right, to get to F. Good, and I like how you're playing it with these fingers. So when we're playing the scale, we want to play it in a position so that every time we play the first fret, we're going to play with our first finger. Every time we play the second fret, we're going to play with our second finger, third fret with the third finger, so on. Okay. So good. So we have C, D, E, F. Okay. And G is our next open string. Good. Let's see if we can just go up and down through that. C, D, E, F, G, F, E, D, C. You don't need to say the names. The names <laughs> okay, yet. okay. I'm going to check our time. All right. <clears throat> Minutes. So it's... try it again and this time see if you can alternate every note so first one's gonna be a down pick up pick down pick up pick down up down up down so you're gonna start and end on a down okay so... yep and then the G okay. string and then yep and down up down down Good. Good. So what do we have left? C, D, E, F, G. And then A. A, B, C. So.
So A is going to be second fret on the G string. Oh, so it's right here. Mm-hmm. And then B is only a half step below C, so we know this is where our high C is. B is just the open string. Oh, okay. Yep, and then C. first fret is C. Oh, okay. Good. So so far we have C D E F G A B C. Okay. So can you try going up? Sure. Do I have to do the? Yeah, try alternating it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah that's a little makes it a little bit harder. <laughs> yeah, it does. Yeah. To think about. Okay, so this is C. Oh, Ooh, yeah, that's no. actually F. Yeah. yeah so C's on the, okay. the H string. So... Yes, that would be where C something. is. Yeah, but we did. We missed a note. So do you okay. know what note we missed? That's what we did. Yeah. So what note did we miss? Do, 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 do. Uh, we missed F. Or, yeah, we missed F. Yeah, so we do missed F. I don't know. Wait, let me go through it. Yeah, yeah. Let's go through it. So C, E, E, F, and then G. Yeah, we got G. And then and you went from G. Yeah. Yeah, so we missed A is what we missed. Which is mm -hmm. right here. Yep, second okay. fret on the G string. Then for open, then, first fret. And then C. Good, now let's see if we can come down. Okay, okay so then, do I need to play this one? Or? Yeah, yeah, let's okay. let's play the C again. Okay, okay so C, open. Ooh, or, so make no. sure that we're playing B, C, D. Okay. okay, so C, and then B. So remember, uh, when we're going backwards, the T, you know, the seventh uh, note of our major scale, is just a half step below. So oh, okay. remember that uh, yeah. the we can think of like playing it open as like an imaginary fret behind the first okay. fret. So yeah. Okay, so it would be C, B, and then A. Mm -hmm. then G, e. F. Oh my gosh, I'm getting really confused. Is this one? Yep. Okay. E. Open string and C. Good. You don't, you don't okay. seem confused. I think you're just okay. you haven't done it yet. So yeah. it's like, oh, I have to go backwards. <laughs> yeah. And it, yeah, it's easier to think about it when you're going forwards mm -hmm. because that's mostly how we've like done it. It's whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half. We're going up, but then I like thinking about going it backwards. So yeah. that's definitely something we're gonna work on again. So okay. let's go check the time once more. All right. So the last thing we're gonna do for this lesson is we're gonna practice going up and down while saying the note names while we do it. Okay. So we're gonna try to go C, <coughs> D, E, F, G, A, B, C, C, B, A, G, F, E, D, C. Okay. All right. I can try that. I always get, it's always hard for me to like go backwards without yeah. like me writing it down. Yeah, it's like saying the alphabet like... backwards. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So if you do this, if you know, you can always say the alphabet backwards. <laughs> okay. So it's C, C D, So, we learned about holding the pick, and we learned how to play our first scale, yep. or the C major scale. So, in our second lesson, we're going to learn about uh, bar chords and stuff like that. Okay. So, awesome.